and I have been dying to do some crafting. I've been doing a little bit here and there around my home, but I've been really wanting to do some crafting where I can just share it with you guys. I have a long list of projects and I have been meaning to get to them. And so I thought, well, today's the day. Um, normally I go live on Wednesdays. And so I'm trying to come back with doing that on Wednesdays and maybe adding in another day um, with some other projects where I maybe do like a tabletop overview so you can actually see it. But I like kind of going live like this because I get to kind of chat with you and just see what's going on. So today's project is just stuff that I've had. Um, I have been wanting to make this project for a long time. People have been making these kind of projects that I'm making. So it's not anything new. It's not anything like crazy whatever. But it's very, very simple. So um, I have purchased, and I have several of these in my garage. I don't know why I have the amount that I have, but I do have like four or five of them where they are just these plain, um, like straw, like, like kind of scratchy, like doormats. And, um, <clears throat> you can personalize them. You can paint them and you can personalize them to be anything that you want them to be, or you can just leave them plain. And the cool thing about this project is it's really simple and easy to do. And if um, you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine where you can get the personalization you want, I have an idea for that um, for you to do as well. So the project that I'm going to be doing today though does is going to be with the Cameo machine, which I have my oh, I have my Cameo for um, right here um, off to the side. I don't think you guys can see it. Um, oh, there it is, right there. So I have it just kind of off to the side here. I keep it out on my big um, craft table island that I have in my craft room, and I am going to be using the um, 12 by 24, so the extra long mat today in order to create the stencil that I'm going to put on this uh, craft, or I'm sorry, on this doormat. So I'm just gonna make the stencil and then I'm going to lay it down here and I'm just using regular Oracle vinyl and I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna just personalize it and paint it. So the file that I am making or the stencil template that I am making it is actually going to be available tomorrow on craftylifemom.com's resource library for free. And it is a file that you can use going into, um, anybody can use and download. You can use it with your Cricut. You can use it with your Silhouette if you have that. And then there's also a way if you don't have that machine or you're not really sure how to use yours, um, you can still download the file print it into two sheets of paper because this is a larger mat size and you can actually do the method where you use like the freezer paper to kind of like uh, create the stencil and then use that as your template. So I'll be posting a little bit more details on that method tomorrow, but for today's live, I'm going to be using my Silhouette Cameo, my file, and I'm going to cut it, weed it out, and we're gonna make a stencil and then paint on the um, doormat. So this, like I said, this doormat is not brand new. It's actually been in my garage. We've stepped on it, walked on it. I kind of brushed it off. Um, before I brought it inside, but I have a couple of these. You can get these doormats from anywhere. You can get them from Walmart. You can get them from Target. I've even seen them at Home Depot. They come in different sizes, and I think the um, smallest or lowest price one I've seen is like $6 or $6.99, something like that, but they have like the black rubber thing on them, and then this one is just a small, a small normal like door size one it's not like a huge one or like a double door width it is just I want to say this is like what 24 by 36 don't don't hold me to that but I think that's what it is so it's just a small doormat and I'm going to put the words hello summer on it and so I have my uh, silhouette software pulled up here and well I did and now it's gone 
but that's okay. I've already saved my file, so that's a good thing. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just open up my file and pull it into the um, Silhouette Studio software. So if you go to craftylifemom.com and you're part of the Crafty Life Mom community, if you're one of the subscribers, um, which is free to join, you can go to the resource library, you'll get a password, and you can get this file for free. It is not there right now. It'll be there tomorrow morning, um, and it's just because I didn't have time to actually um, get the file uploaded to my website, to the resource library, before I went live. So, um, just know, if you like this project and you want to recreate it, cre recreate it then um, it'll be there for you tomorrow morning for you to snatch and actually um, get. So I'm just gonna print this, by, or print this, I'm just going to actually um, send this to the machine and it is going to be on um, just regular vinyl and I'm going to cut it out. So let me just make sure that my settings are set to vinyl and I am not going to, um, I'm just using a regular glossy vinyl and I am not going, you know, I didn't do anything special. This is just vinyl that I have on hand, um, and it's it's brown vinyl. Like it's not um, anything like special. So I do. Um, I did have a thought, and it's going to be a little loud while I cut. But I did have a thought. If you really really want this file in a template that. Um, you know, you don't want to cut it, you don't have a machine, you don't want to go through the trouble of printing the file and then trying to make your own template. If you're interested in it, just leave a comment down below or send me a message. I can actually, um, I'll can, I can sell you a template. I can put it available in the shop at shop.craftylifemom.com and mail you a, stem, a template or a stencil. So, um... If that's something you're interested in, let me know. I can make that available. If it's not, then I'm not going to go to the trouble to make it available. But I figured some of you might want it, so why not share it? But if you have a Cricut or you have a Silhouette machine, then yes, you can get this file completely free. Um, so to personalize this mat, all I am going to do is just use some standard acrylic paint. Um, you can actually get, and it's in my light, um, you can actually get um, spray paint and just spray paint it. That would probably be a lot faster. I'm inside, so I'm not going to be um, spray painting in here. Um, but when I get done with this live, after I paint it, I am going to probably, most likely, put a like a seal on it with like a, um, a finish, like in a spray, um, just to kind of prolong it. So the idea for this is that I've always loved personalized um, front door mats and I love like a whole vignette for people's different front doors. I love looking at them all over Instagram. That's like one of my favorite things to do is look at the different things that people do for the seasons and um, one of the things is they typically put a doormat like this that's personalized or says something cute for the season on top of like a longer, bigger doormat. So that's my plan for this one. But we also just recently like moved around this past weekend some of our furniture that we have outside by our pool deck area. And um, beforehand we had like a door that opened out to the pool deck off of like our kitchen nook area and I kind of had it blocked off with furniture on the inside but recently have moved that around being home and all I have shifted everything in my room and in my house and now that door you can actually like walk up to it open it and go out to the pool deck so it's like functional again and I need a doormat there I need something that is cute and trendy but will kind of like grab some of the foot traffic dirt um, when we're coming in and out off of the pool and even hopefully grab some of the water off of my kids feet as they enter into the um, into the pool deck or out from the inside from the pool deck so 
it's almost done um, cutting it out and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. I think it's done. Let's see. Oh. oh, maybe, yeah. All right, so look, it is done. That didn't take very long, just a few minutes. And so it is on my mat right here. And what I'm going to do is, you can see like, this is a 12 by 24 mat. So you can see how it kind of fits on my doormat. Um, I might actually cut out each word. This is a two word stencil and um, make it so I can kind of space them how I want to on the, onto the doormat itself. So the best way to get a large mat um, project off of your silhouette, your cutting mat, is to do it from behind. Do it backwards like this. And so this is my mat. I'm just going to put this to the side. And then the either fun part or the worst part, depending on what kind of crafter you are, is the weeding. So when you have a stencil, especially one this large, or decal, because this could technically be both, right? What I'm going to do is weed the lettering I don't want, or the lettering I want to come through, like the part I want to paint. So when you're thinking in terms of a stencil, you're doing the opposite. You're weeding out the opposite because I want the letters imprint to be there. So I need to weed out the actual letters. If, that, if I'm making sense, maybe you can let me know if I'm making sense, um, so that I have it to actually paint. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, my hair, I just noticed, I have this like fly thing here. I'm sorry. I, my hair, it's growing out and I clipped it back just to kind of help it. So there's that. Okay, so normally if I was to make this like a huge decal, I would weed away the negative part. But like I said, I'm not going, so that would be like taking it from the corner and weeding it like this. I'm not doing that. I'm actually gonna weed out the letters. And so, one of my absolute favorite weeding tools is this, this little silver, almost looks like a dental pick. I've said this before on some of my lives, where um, it, it looks like something the dentist would use on your teeth. It's from Harbor Freight. There is a pack of them that come like in a little kit. I don't, I don't even know how much the pack is. It's a few dollars compared to like the price of either your Cricut or your Silhouette tools, although I love their tools. Um, but I go to this one first, even though it's really skinny. And it's, it's just an easy weeder. My husband got the little kit for me from Harbor Freight. I think he put it in my stocking one year for Christmas, and it has been the best little tool. So, okay, let's get to weeding. Um... And you know, you kind of have to just look to your lines to see before you start. So the design, I know you guys did not see the design ahead of time, but like this is the letter H. I am doing the words, hello, sunshine. I do live in Florida and summer is coming. I am now my kid's teacher and we have some weeks to go before school is done. And I don't know, I feel like, even though like I teach online, I te I've been like a substitute in the schools, teaching my own kids, only my own kids, it's kind of hard, kind of hard. And so I am counting down the days, probably like any normal school teacher would be. Um, to when school's out because we still do stuff to like keep it educational during the summer, but I'm ready for like their mandatory things to be done. Like I'm over it. They they kind of struggle with me sometimes to get their day started. And I have to say since being in quarantine, um, it kind of goes like this. And you guys can comment down below if it goes like this for you too or not. Um, it's like a good day and then it's a bad day. It's a good day and then it's a bad day. And I'm just like, I'm ready for it to be done. I love my kids very much, but I hate it for them because at the same time, I want them to be prepared so that when they go into their next grade, like they'll know what they need to know. And I'm their teacher and it's kind of it's rough. So anyway, 
I'm sure it's like that for everybody or it's just me. I'm not sure. Okay, so when I created this design, I'm just gonna tell you in case you wanted to um, use this design. I didn't just use like one font. I did more than one font and blended it together, of course, because I don't know, I had to be, I had to be special like that, I guess. I don't know. So um, just be careful as you blit, as you go letter to letter on the word sunshine, which is what I'm doing here, because it is a scripty like font and it will stick on you. So you kind of just got to go with the flow of the lettering, but be careful you don't rip the design because remember, this is your template or your stencil. And if you have a rip, well, it's going to paint, you're going to get paint in the rip. So you don't want that. So just kind of like go with the font like I'm doing. And you can actually do this with any kind of stencil if you create them. Um, pick it up and bunch it in your hand. You can see I'm doing that in this hand right here as you go. And then if you get a spot where it is a tall letter, you kind of have to pick it up with your tool. And then make sure that you leave the parts that need to be laid down or the like little insert cutouts of each letter is staying because you don't want to rip that up either. I know that was a mouthful that I just said, but if you've worked with vinyl ever, I think you know what I'm talking about. All right, so now I'm coming into the H, which is probably the most difficult letter of the entire design. So when this happens, which I don't have it close by where I can reach it, um, bear with me just a second here. You can either um, cut it or tear it. I just tore it because I know how this vinyl works, but I recommend having a little bit of, um, or having your scissors nearby so that you can cut away the vinyl as you lift it up. So let me show you just a second here before I get the H. What I'm having is a problem with keeping the little piece down. Um, that is the little, I don't know what you call that, like the little circle or the little like space in between the swoosh of the letter. So once you get it started, you kind of have to go from there. Now that didn't work. So look, I tore it and then this little sliver of a thing is the little space that um, kind of makes the H. And I'll show you here in just a second. Let me just finish weeding it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not test this file before I actually made it just now. So we are testing it and it seemed to cut fine. I opened it up from the SVG format. So if you do have one of these cutting machines, it should work fine for you. It's just your weeding skills that you kind of need to keep in check, right? Okay, so almost done. We're on the I and the N and the E. And remember, I'm, now you could totally probably do this where you can have the same font. Like the part that I'm weeding out and just clumping together, you could probably keep it and put it on something else, like a sign. Um, you don't have to make a doormat with this design. You can make anything you want. I just thought it would be fun to punch up our outdoor um, area out there since I'm looking forward to all things summer. My kids' birthdays are in summer and God willing, everything that we have planned for them, we will be able to still do because we have reservations for things. And so I'm hopeful. This mama is hopeful, right? I, I, I'm hopeful. Okay, there's the dot in the eye. And then I just have to do the little E here and we will be ready to go. All right, so, just gotta get this little detail and the little corner. So you guys leave me a comment down below. I can't really see anything. Let me know um, 
what have you guys been up to? What have you been doing? I want to know what's going on in your world. I won't be able to look at it right now and answer, but I'll go back and definitely look and reply, okay? All right, so here it is. How cute. Look, hello, sunshine. So this is going to be my template, and I'm going to put it on here. So if you thought weeding was the hardest part, the next hardest part is actually getting the template to be the vinyl on the doormat. So there's a couple different schools of thought with this. Number one is you can put a big piece of transfer tape on it, which I still might end up doing. Or two, you can skip that part and try to just lay this whole sheet on there and peel away your backing. I don't recommend though peeling the whole thing at once and trying to lay it down because it's such a big piece it might like collapse together and then stick together and then peeling it back apart. If you've ever worked with vinyl, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It, it It's a nightmare when that happens and so you either have to like throw it out and recut a new piece or you, you're frustrated forever trying to unstick where it shouldn't have stuck. So what I'm going to do is cut it into two pieces. Let me grab some scissors. And like I said earlier, I'm going to situate it onto the mat how I want to. And then that way I'm making two smaller templates, so to speak. And then that way I can also um, center up my vinyl so that, um, you know, it's like symmetrical to the doormat. If that, if that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. Okay, so I cut out the word hello, and I can probably peel back like a little section of this, and then lay it down onto the mat, and then like peel the backing from underneath little by little as we go. I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't work, then I'll get my transfer tape for the big one up top. But I'm gonna try and just do it that way and lay it as it goes. Let, let's see. It looks like it might work. I'm not, I'm not sure. Yee. Okay, it may not work. Let's just be safe and get out the transfer tape. I'd hate to like rip it on a lot um, and then be upset with it. So, I have to find my transfer tape. It's somewhere in here. <laughs> I need to go back and relabel my bins with where I put my clear um, transfer because in all of these bins I have my um, there it is I have my um, which that's a whole new roll I have all of my vinyl rolls if you have watched me before I had one that was already open that I was hoping I would find first but that may not be happening um Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, actually, and this, hey, you guys, this dream box, I want to tell you a little secret. The dream box, um, it's a crazy expensive cabinet, but it is so worth it. Um, they have a huge Mother's Day sale coming up, and they asked me to help them promote it. I'm not allowed to tell you what the special is right now, but it is pretty good. It's like, I'm surprised at how discounted they are going to make it. So in a couple of days, I will share with you the details of their sale, their special for the Dream Box. But like they're including like free accessories, the price is dropping just for Mother's Day, um, like leading up to Mother's Day. And they, their whole um, sale is so that you can get your Dream Box in time for Mother's Day. So like if you order it when their sale begins, they have like a promise to, um, and this is like a little piece I'm probably leaking, but to get it in time for Mother's Day so you have it. Just so you know, the dream box, this cabinet that's behind me, and this is like only two thirds of it, like it goes more. Um, it normally takes like six weeks to get delivered to you, okay? So I just want you to know, like the first one I had, I waited like eight weeks before it came. And this promotion that they're gonna be doing, you can get it, um, in time for Mother's Day. So that's pretty awesome because that, I don't know how many they're going to sell, but anyway, 
look for that because it's a pretty good, awesome craft storage cabinet. When I, I've said this before, when my twins were born, we had them in the same room. And when they were almost two years old, I decided because they were Borg old twins, they needed to have their own rooms. And I gave up my lovely craft room uh, to my daughter. And how I was able to do that was by purchasing a dream box, which I fit an entire regular sized bedroom worth of craft supplies in the dream box. And I was able to have it like in my front living room. I've since then taken over my dining room and that's all history and I'll be sharing that with you. But um, yes. I fit like a like all of my supplies are in here everything that's like on the opposite side of the camera like the part that you're not seeing is actually office stuff like our computer like printer paper and I have some more craft machines um, but for the most part it's all in the box all in the dream box okay so I have put some of my um, transfer tape on there and just so you know this transfer tape is not actually transfer tape it is contact paper from Walmart. You can get it. It's the um, Duck brand, and it's actually $6 maybe, $6 for a bigger roll, much cheaper than the actual Cricut or Silhouette brand. See, there's my template. And now let's see if we can get it to stick. Oh, this might be hard. Oh, it's going to work out fine. Okay, cool. So, um, yes, if you are into crafting, don't waste your money on buying transfer tape. Just get this duck brand contact paper. It works just as good, if not a little bit easier. And you can transfer all of your designs to your projects. Um, much less expensively because the amount that you get for the money is a lot less by the like foot I would say so there's that okay so I'm just struggling a little bit to lift it off but I think that's just because of how this design is and there we go it's coming off pretty well plus this doormat has these like little hairy fibers on it that want to kind of go with it so just have to be careful just be careful okay so there's that we can probably reuse that piece and I'm just going to make sure that this is all laying pretty flat like pretty easy before I like press it down into the mat okay so there's that and you just kind of want to work with it so that it's laying nice and smooth. I hope I'm making sense. I will try to lift it up and show you in just a second. Just want to make sure all the little lettering. Okay, so there it is. It's going to be hard to see because it's just brown vinyl on a brown thing and it's slightly off-centered. See? Oh, can you see it? Hello! Okay, so we're going to, it's a stencil and we're going to um, let me straighten it a little bit. I should have looked at that a little more straight. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We are going to stencil this up. I'm going to use a black paint, but you can certainly use any color. You could even do, I thought about doing yellow because it's sunshine, the word, but I think black will hold up better in the long run. Um, so there's that. Okay, so I'm gonna try this other way just to see if this is slightly easier. I'm not sure. Ooh, y'all say a prayer. This might not be easier than using the transfer tape. I don't really know. Ooh, I'm scared, maybe not. I don't wanna do it that way. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. See, I'm crafty like mom, but I still get nervous with my craft projects too. So I think for this one, I'm just going to do this method where I pull it, but I think I'm going to almost like cut it away. Let's see. Just you want, you want your parts to not stick to each other that don't, that aren't supposed to stick. So I'm having that difficulty right there. Okay, here we go. 
It's working okay. Oh, it's working okay. Just be careful and take your time. I know you guys like want to see it already, but I'm taking my time on purpose because I don't want it to do like it just did right there. And twist on me. Okay. Just got to be careful as it lays down onto the piece. So once I get it situated, I will show you, but just bear with me because this S is a little tricky and you don't want it touching. Vinyl is a great product to work with, but the number one thing I have to tell you about it is you cannot, you cannot, not, not. You cannot get frustrated with it because if you do you're just you're just gonna not have fun and that's not crafting crafting it's all about having some fun so making something cute and having fun with it is the best thing so if you're frustrated um, it's not worth it so just work with it it's gonna be fine you're gonna get it how you want you just got to be patient with it especially vinyl um, heat transfer like if you're making shirts that's a lot easier of a product, but um, if you're working with like a vinyl and a project like this, you have to be patient with it. You have to be patient. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work in your favor. Okay, so you can see here, look, I just had a piece get stuck to it um, that wasn't supposed to be, so I have to just kind of, you know, Pick it up and move it. Pick it up and move it. That's the only thing I can tell you. Be gentle with how you pick it up too because it's going to rip if you're not careful. Okay? All right, so we've almost got it all laid down. And this may not be the most straight and it's because I'm trying to kind of hurry because I'm live. I know I've been on here already like 20 minutes and you're like, come on already. But, um... This is my reality. Okay, so here we go. There's that. The S wants to stick to itself. Once we get that ready, it'll be good to go. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not. All right, so I've got my shine word like worked out really good here. Um, it's just getting the sun part of the word sunshine to kind of be straight. So let's see, sun, sh shine, and it's an S, so that's the hard part. Like, it's hard to tell that it's an S right now the way it looks. So I'm just trying to make sure you can tell that's what it is. So, okay, here we go. The good thing is that with this um, project, you could probably clean it off a little bit and like redo or touch it up. I hope that makes sense to some of you. Okay, and I'm just gonna check my original. Um, design, make sure my spacing is correct. Okay, good. So, I'm good there. All right. It's a little harder than I thought. Okay, I think we're good to go. Just trying to get it laid flat. I know I'm silent, sorry. Okay, here we go. Come on, just be flat for me. All right, there we go. I'm gonna just, I'm probably gonna have to, I don't wanna cut that because I want that to be like on the point. There we go. All right, I 
kind of had to fold this one to make the letter be more pronounced. So you, it might affect the overall end of the design, but I think it's going to be okay by the time it's painted. You just kind of have to be careful with that, okay? So here is a look at, well, I'm not going to lift it up. I don't want to lift it up because I don't want it to be ruined. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have black paint and I'm going to um, just squirt it out into my uh, paper plate that I have here. And I'm just going to take this Dollar Tree little, I don't know what this, it's a brush. And I'm just going to poke it into the, into the paint and poke it down into my doormat. And then like I said earlier, I'm going to um, go back and just um, probably seal it into the mat with like a, like a paint sealer, just a spray paint paint sealer. I think it will absorb pretty well um, into the mat, even without the sealer, but I don't know, we'll see. This might, you know, be a bust. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see how this one turns out. Um, not all projects turn out the greatest, but I think this one will be okay. So, any comments? I'm trying to look. Just turning in. What are you making? Okay, so I am making a doormat that says, Hello, Sunshine. And I created the file. So, if you have an, a Cricut or a Silhouette machine, you can download this file for free tomorrow. I'll have it up on the blog. CraftyLifeMom.com resource library. It's free if you're a subscriber. Um, if you're a subscriber, it's free to be a subscriber too. So it's free completely. And all you have to do is just sign up. Sometimes I send out emails that say, hey, what's going on? Whatever. Here's a craft project I did. But if you um, subscribe to the email list, then you can get access to the resource library that has all of the projects I've ever done. Um, and you can get all of the templates. I have printables on there, which there's another thing I wanted to share with you guys. Um, with this whole like quarantine thing, me being the teacher, we've had to come up with like a schedule that works for us. Um, starting our day, it's definitely not like a normal typical school day. Just if you don't know, I have two twins, two kids in kindergarten, the twins, and a second grader. So, um, Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, and yeah, that's my life. Um, so that's what we are um, dealing with. They don't always want to just start right away at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I've kind of, kind of come up with a different routine that works for us where we get majority of our schoolwork done um, up until lunchtime, and then we take a break for lunch, and we get like our PE and our music done. Um, and I have a printable I made, a print off, where it's our actual exact schedule, so you can print it off and use it. I'm going to put that on the blog, and then I have a blank one, so you can fill in whatever activities you want for yourself. I thought that that might be useful, especially if you're just, you know, mom like me, and you need some structure in your life, and three kids, whatever, then I'm going to share with you, um, that. Okay, so I just did the word hello. I'm going to spin it around so you can see kind of the idea here. Do you see what I just did? I stenciled. Oh, I don't want to lift it and my sunshine get all wrinkly. But um, I stenciled the word hello. And let me see if I can turn it back around and work on my sunshine word. I'm really scared about the sunshine word. <laughs> Because it is kind of like wobbly. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if this, is, this sunshine part is going to turn out so good. Um, but we'll give it a whirl, right? Let's give it a whirl. I had cut away. The, I have the, uh, see, my cutouts that were from the little insides. I think that's the reason it looks weird. I think I need to put these back where they belong. Um, the E had that, and then this little thing in the H, this little space. 
Yeah, that's what it's missing. That, maybe that's why it looks so weird. And then there was this little triangle part in the S, but it's kind of laying okay. I guess that's how it goes. Sunshine. There we go. We'll do it like that. Okay. Y'all wish me luck. Let's see how this goes because nah, I'm nervous for this one. And then I'll reveal it to you. And like I said, I'm just using Apple Barrel Walmart black acrylic paint. I've had this paint forever. It's old. <laughs> so I'm going to spray this just to kind of seal it. And I'm just dabbing it in. I'm trying not to like get too much under into the um, into the doormat because I don't want it to bleed, which that might happen, especially on this font. So I'm living and learning. If it if it it does, then I will go back and like tweak the um, the font so that it doesn't do this to y'all. If you try to use this doormat stencil. But if you don't want to make a doormat or use it as a stencil, you can definitely download it and make like a sign with it. That would be cool too. Um, instead of having it as a doormat. And I'm just kind of doing the basic outline just to kind of get the color on there. I'm probably going to go back with a different paintbrush and darken up the areas that are kind of light. I just want to make sure I get the outline on there first so that it doesn't really like bleed through my lettering or that it doesn't move on me. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. So let me get this S done here. So the word sunshine is not as dark and I think I'm doing it that way on purpose just so I can go back and tweak it um, because this um, whole little stencil is kind of bubbly. So, and it could just be the vinyl that I'm using. Um, could have been the method that I laid it down with, so. If you do this, it's just, you know, for fun, trial and error. If I figure out a way to perfect this, then I will definitely share that with you when I post it tomorrow in the library. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to pull it just to get my S down in there really good. And this little guy stuck to me there. Okay, y'all ready to see what it looks like? I don't know if y'all are even still there, but we will see how it looks. Okay, so it's a little messy on my hands, but I'm going to go ahead and lift it off. And once I lift it off, the stencil is, is like done. Oh, it's not too bad. I'm going to have to fix the S a little bit. Okay, so there's that. Sunshine. Just checking to make sure I spelled it right. I don't know if I did. <laughs> I think I did. Okay. All right. So, hello, sunshine. That's what it says. Let me get the little tweak out of there. And, oh, look how cute. This is super cute. I have a huge buffalo check doormat on the front door. So, maybe I'll put it there instead of by our pool. I'm going to definitely, I just put my paintbrush into the, um, Paint, but I'm definitely going to go back and darken up this little part here on the S because that's where I did it light, where the where the vinyl was a little funky. Um, so I might have to do a smaller brush just so I don't go outside of the edges. But look how cute it looks, guys. Hello, sunshine. Might look cute with like a little flower going up here. You could totally free paint that. You could do um, another stencil if you want to brave that, or you could just leave it as is and then like decorate it. So like I said, I plan to put it down um, on top of a buffalo check. That's that black and white checkered pattern, if you know what I'm talking about, um, on my front door. Because I have a huge, um, I have two front doors, like double doors, and I have a huge like long rectangular rug um, at my front door, and then I have a mat like this that sits on top of it. So I kind of layer my doormats at my front door. Um, or I'm gonna put this on the back pool door, like I was saying earlier in the live, and um, just see how that works with that. Um, 
But yeah, here it is. I'll take a picture of where I end up putting it and post it um, for you guys so that you can see. But leave a comment and let me know what do you think about it and if you're going to be making one and if there's any other like stencils or templates that you would like, um, I can certainly create those. And hopefully this will help get you in the mood to going into summertime because I'm ready for it. Um, all right, so that's all I have to share with you guys today. And I have a couple more ideas that I have coming going into the summer season and how I plan to decorate in my home. And I will share that with you coming up. And if you have any questions, I'm always happy to share with that um, or help you out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.